Hi, my name is Kristen and my practice is Well Balance. I talk a lot about healing the body, mind, and spirit. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about healing our spirit. And um, it was such a cute story today because my dog, Emmy, she's a little guy. Here she is right here. Um, and I always hike. And our other dog is just a little too um, older and achy, so he can't, he can't hike. But anyways, Emmy and I were hiking and it was a beautiful morning and the sun was rising and I am always so grateful about each day, each sunrise, each sunset that comes up. It's just, it's just my thing. And I go out every morning um, before the sun rises so I can watch it rise. So this morning I was watching the sunrise and just, it was a priceless day, uh, blue skies. Emmy and I were having a blast hiking. And then all of a sudden, Emmy got into a big branch. I mean, she's super little and she got into a branch that was like as big as she was and it was had all these thorns in it and they stuck into her fur like from her head to her toes and she just froze and um and i you know i calmed her down and i said it's okay and i sat there for the longest time picking out each thorn from her fur and it was embedded in her and it hurt her and a couple times she want she uh, whimpered and i just kept telling her it's going to be okay and um, she wasn't struggling with me. She knew she trusted me. Like she knew that I had to get this branch off of her for, in order for us to go on our hike and continue our morning. And so I just sat there and it came to me as she patiently sat there in pain as I'm pulling her fur and it hurt her, but she knew that if she wrestled more that she couldn't, she couldn't go anywhere, right? The thorn, the whole branch was stuck to her and it hurt even more when she wrestled. And so it reminded me so much of where we're at in life all of us how we go through life and everything's great and all of a sudden something comes and and attaches to us or, or some some sort of trial or some sort of um painful event and it attaches to us and if we struggle with that event and we wrestle with it and we just try to push it away or just resist it then we get more almost entangled with that event that painful event if we relax and allow and ask God to come in and help and we relax as he's pulling out the thorns in our life, as we are trusting, as we are not wrestling, as we realize that this too shall pass, pretty soon the thorns are going to be out. This is not your permanent state of being that eventually the thorns will leave and you'll be free to move on and enjoy your life. And it was so cute because by the time, and so I had this big, you know, aha moment with my little puppy and um, I realized that so much like how we need to be in life like every time we come upon a, a trial or we stumble or we're fearful of something or or something devastates us and we get caught in all those thorns um, trust and relax into and allow God to take the thorns out and allow him to bring you peace just like Emmy had peace she knew I only had her highest good like even though it hurt she knew I had her highest good was to take the thorns out and to move forward. And her highest good wouldn't be to sit there and wrestle with the thorns and get more tangled up. Her highest good would be to step back, allow, and have the thorns removed. Okay, so once I removed her thorns, this is so cute too. This is uh, how I would love to be in life all the time. She was back having a blast. She was sniffing everything and she was just in her joyful self. She's such a joyful puppy. And I thought, I just love that. She just a few minutes ago was in pain and now she's not. And again, it reminded me that when we go through something, when God removes, when life moves on, when this too shall pass and we are free, why are we living back as if the thorns are still on us? Why are we trying to put the thorns mentally, emotionally back on us when they are gone? That was the past. There is always the now. There really it is only the now the now is the now and the past is great for learning and things like that and the future is unfolding as we walk through life and so if we can come to that place of joy that that was a season of our life that was a moment of our life um, that was a lesson in our life and we move on with joy then only are we looking forward to the best in life and we're not trying to recreate our past so i was thinking if emmy was super fearful and she didn't want to hike anymore because she that hurt her and she did she didn't want to she could have curled up in my arms and I could have taken her down and she'd never go hiking again right or she would be like super cautious and going really slow and not enjoying her life which for her her life really is every day I wake up and we go hiking and that literally is what she looks forward to so 
um, it again reminded me that now that we are moving forward in life, yes, other thorns will come. That's part of life. I mean, oh, I wish it wasn't. I wish it was perfect, but that's probably saved for heaven, right? And yet, as much as we step back and allow God to transform and rise up into acceptance of what is, we have some thorns on us right now, right? We, we rise up into acceptance, acceptance of what is, can we move forward in life enjoying love? So anyways, um, just remember that the thorns of life, yeah, they will attach to us sometimes and it bogs us down and it makes us feel hurt and sad and angry but this too shall pass. And once the thorns are relieved, try to, as best as you can, make the choice to step into the newness of who you are designed to be and enjoy this life because it gets fleeting and it goes really fast. Enjoy all your loved ones, enjoy everything that you've been given for we have been given so much on this beautiful world. Thank you and have a great day.